Hello everyone, this is Shelby with Shelby Creations. Welcome back to the Dragon's Den. I know it's been a while and things have been a little hectic here and a lot of us have been under the weather, but I'm back. Um, I've seen a lot of the ones I watch do these flip-flop journals and I've got quite a few friends who said, yeah, I can't do it because it's hard to figure out. And they are a little difficult, but I want to try it. I'm going to try doing it my way because I tell you, I've watched them and I get confused. Of course, that's not very hard to do. Like I said, I picked out several different kinds of envelopes. Like this is a coffee dyed one and it has the bigger flap. These have the little small flaps to them. So I'm not sure what's going to work. So we'll just figure it out as we go. See, all of these are the same. They're just the big ones. Then I, I just reached into my envelope bin and grabbed out a bunch. This is one that I use part of. <coughs> this one has a the window in it. It's like, you know, the return ones you get. I've got another one that's got a bigger window. Um, a really big envelope, which I don't think this is going to work. I think that's going to be a bit too big. We'll set that one over there. Uh, there's another one with a window. I've got a smaller one with no window. Another one with no window. This is a return with a window. Another window. Some that have, again, no windows. And then just some little smaller ones. And a brown one. Which I opened the, the wrong way, but I like it because it has the two windows on it. So, what got, we need to do is to figure out the inside. Because I figured that would be the best place to go. Let's see which ones of these. I think I'm going to stick to a certain width for the largest ones. So we'll go with these. That's a smaller size. The really long ones, though, I'm going to set those aside for a minute. We'll get all these short ones out of the way. As if I've got it figured out right, the two center ones open out completely. So let's start with those. Now I, I pulled out two of these for that. Because these that I want to use for the other ones are a bit smaller. So instead of opening them up, I can just trim off both ends. That's my thinking. So try that. I've got two of them here. And grab out my little chomper here. And I'll put both of them in here at the same time. Line that up. All right, cut off those two ends, turn it around, and we'll do the same on this side because I'd already pre I previously marked them. Okay. So that should open these up <coughs> completely. Yeah. But my problem is they've got this part. Now, I know one's supposed to go one way, one's supposed to go the other. So I'm thinking I can glue them like this. Let's see how's that going. That should do it. That should work. Keep our fingers crossed. So, I know, flipping and flopping here. Get out my glue. Well, why are you not wanting to come off the top? Probably, yeah, it needs to be cleaned right quick. Ah. Wipe that off. <coughs> and then... Put my glue here, all along this edge. And then glue it from here 
to there. Just like that. Put that just, oh, get back up there where you belong. There. Now that gives us the flip going this way and the flip going that way. Okay. So that would mean <coughs> this is our center. We need the two that go on the outside. And let's do the front one like this. So this goes here. I'm wondering if I should put that on the inside. And this is supposed to flip over. I wonder if I could. That would give me a pocket out there, but I think it went this way. Like I said, I'm trying to figure this out as I do it. And then if that goes there, that's going to cover up that. <coughs> so, let's see. Somewhere in here, I've got some more of those plain plain ones, or do I have a, let's do the blue one on the front, that looks good, so, let's see, stick that in there, and put that one going that way, and then that will go that way, yeah, I think that's it, <coughs> so, I said, just bear with me. I'm figuring this out as I go. <clears throat> I've watched so many different videos on these. And they've all been confusing to me. So if I want that, I'm going to put this in the crease here. Fold that over. Okay. That gives me that one. So now we've got this one. That. there and do that one that way oh nope that was the wrong side well you know what where is it yeah because that needs to be front so we'll do it this way well, will that work it uh, or did I goof let me peel this off of here right quick. Better I make mistakes here than you make them when you're doing yours. Alright. So I know that goes that way. This, I think, should have gone on that side. Not that side. Should have gone there instead of there. Or would it have been better going that way? Well, either way, it's got to be done. So I just glued the wrong side. That's okay. We'll let that glue dry a little bit. No problem. I just don't want to glue it, bend it over here and get it stuck to this side. So, we'll try this again. Doing it the right way. Like I said, this was so confusing to me, trying to figure it out. And as you can see, it's still a little confusing. So, this goes this way. This goes this way, so that now I've got, and I can go back, or did I, am I wrong again? Oh, we're not glued down yet. Those Or supposed to go over. 
here. I did have it right the first time. Okay. I did have it right. Not a problem. At least with the fabric tack, it is a little forgiving. Thank goodness. Oh, let's try that again. That goes here. That goes there. That goes, yep. <clears throat> That's right. And envelopes. All right, they'll be all right. I'm gonna, just going to reset these here because I probably didn't get it on the fold quite right, but that's okay. All right, so we've got that here. We've got the pocket and pocket. We've got this opens here for one there, and then we have this one that we're going to turn this way. One two, three, and then here. So we need another big one back here. Probably, let's see if one with the pocket would do. If I do that, I'm still going to have a gap here. What if I do this one? Not quite as big, but it would take care of that gap. And that would go there. So this needs to go this way. Yeah. Get it figured out right this time, shall we? I'm going to get glue everywhere doing it that way. Of course, I probably already got glue everywhere. As it was my thinking that if I got the center done, everything else would be easier to do. That matched up fairly well. <coughs> well, get that down there. That there, right there. My head's probably getting in the way. There. Now that will go over there. So, we've got this here. Make sure nothing is sticking to my paper, which it is. But that's okay. Give it a little rub, because like I said, Fabri-Tac is forgiving as long as you get it done in time. Now, if I've got that there, I need another small one to go here. So, what have we got? I don't want that one. One of these is sort of like a old-fashioned cream color. Or is that too big? That's a little wider. But, I'm thinking it's not going to matter much. I got way too many envelopes. <laughs> There's a smaller one. That would work. And that would work there. So, because, yep. Yeah. Now, that going to cover up that. No, see, it's not going to, it's not going to interfere there. So, we're good. We're good. down and then I want to hold it right where that crease is. Down it goes. Make sure everything is secured and I think I think we got it. So there's the basic. We have it opens here. I've got a pocket here, a pocket here if I need it. Then this way I've got a place for um, signature there, signature there.
Then I've got the back that I can turn around. I've got that there. Another pocket on the inside coming this way. And I can get another signature in the middle. Well, that actually gives me two signatures each side. So I can put a signature there, one there, one there, and one there. Or however. That, I know it's got a lot more <clears throat> than the basic, or than the usual ones, but this is my take on it. So I did one right side up, one upside down. Let me turn this around so I got my start and my finish. So upside down, right side up. So the, the two middle ones are reversed. Then these, I put this one down with the pocket and that closes it. So that folds that way. And then this one I put on, flip it over, I put it on there with this one here, which gives me that side. Basic, but once I got it figured out, it really it's, it's really not that difficult. It's just, I reckon it's actually doing it so that you can, you know, once you do it, you should be fine. So, next few videos, we'll see what we can do about filling this thing up and decorating it and making it look oh so pretty. We definitely have the room in here to do what we can with it. Like I said, my first flip-flop journal. Hopefully, it's not as intimidating to you as it was to me at first. And now I've got another thing to do with all my envelopes. Yep. Um, coming up in May, I will, I'm going to try and do some videos ahead of time, but the videos that will come out from, uh, I would say the 12th through the June 1st will probably not be done here, because that's when my son and I are taking our trip to Japan, so probably some travel videos in there. Um, I do want to hit some of the stationery stores there to see what kind of products they have there that are, comp that are you know, what we use here. Has different countries, different items. So there may not be too many working videos, but I will have something going up during our travels. So if you liked what I shared here with you with the, hopefully, explaining an easier way for these flip-flop journals. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more crafty goodness right here at the Dragon's Den. Bye, guys!